our navigation systems go down or our communication systems go down, you get pulled out of your rack at two in the morning. We need those to be able to operate. You gotta be willing to get up and fix something to get the mission complete. Electronics technicians can fix anything. We get the broadest amount of training that any of the technical rates do. We're called electronics technicians, but we're really everything technicians. You can be stationed anywhere. Every single base, every single ship needs electronics technicians. There's no division on this ship that I haven't got to interact with. This is out of the uh, SPA 25 Golf radar uh, display. It uh, displays videos that the radar's put out. It goes back to that basic electronic theory training that we get, just with the critical thinking and finding a solution for whatever problem comes our way. So in the beginning, where you solder, I would get like holes in it. It would be too cold and it would fall off. I would have to start over. If it's not clean after the job, where I was cleaning the flux, if there's any flux left in there, you gotta start over again. You have to use the microscope. It can be components as small as like, smaller than a speck of pepper. I go in places all the time where I don't understand what they're actually needing me to do. This job requires a lot of off-the-cuff thinking. The repair itself is actually the easier part for me, whereas the troubleshooting is what takes the longest. Once you finish troubleshooting and once you find a problem and install a component and you give it back to the technician and it works, it's a very rewarding job because like fixing multi-million dollar equipment.